guys, it's Victoria. I'm in my kitchen right now and I'm getting ready to make a juice. Um, I really wanted to film this because I'm trying my hardest to film more of what I eat and stuff like that because I know that you guys like seeing it and it's practical and, and it can help you uh, figure out what you want to eat on this raw vegan or vegan lifestyle. So I was about to make this juice and I thought, you know what, I gotta film this because that's really what I'm gonna try to do a lot of in the next couple of months is just try to show what I eat because I eat this way so why not film it you know what I mean it's a little bit of a hassle for me but I love it's so worth it to me to show you guys because I know that I like watching food videos and raw vegan recipes and juices and stuff like that so why not show it so I'm about to leave and I didn't have any coconut water. Well, I do have a little bit of coconut water from a real Thai coconut that I opened last night, but I don't have any of the Harmless Harvest because I got some like sour, nasty ones, and so I'm waiting until that batch cycles through, and then I'll buy more. So this morning, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna make a juice. So, so I have celery here and four oranges. I mean, how easy is that? So what I'm gonna do, let me move this closer. Okay, so I got the celery here and I'm gonna chop the end off, chop these off, and those are trash. And then, you know, I just kind of inspect it. Now, I, I have to admit that I'm not the best at washing off my produce because most of it is not that dirty in the first place. It comes from the grocery store very, very clean typically, unless it's something like celery, uh, which sometimes can be pretty dirty. This is a pretty clean batch, uh, actually. But the reason why I think that way is because the tap water is full of chlorine and fluoride and all kinds of crazy stuff that I don't really want to soak into my fruits and vegetables. I know that it's already touched them because these are pretty clean. Uh, I imagine that they rinse them off or whatever when they pull them out of the ground. But uh, yeah, so whatever I can, I don't rinse off my produce. And I know that, that there's different schools of thought on that, but I'm just being honest. So. Right now, I'm not going to rinse this off because it's pretty clean and I am in a hurry. So what I'm going to do is I have my Omega juicer right here. I love this juicer and I recommend it so much. Alright, so here we go. I'm going to start juicing. I really, really love celery juice. I love the natural sodium in it. Um, I was telling a good friend the other day that I get a lot of potassium. But I really feel like that sometimes I need more natural sodium from things like celery because the potassium and sodium, it really needs to be balanced in your body and um, sometimes it's easy to get too much of one or the other, especially potassium. So many fruits and vegetables have that in it. And um, so yeah, I'm really trying to make a conscious effort to you know eat more celery and things that have natural sodium in them. So. Anytime I get an opportunity to juice, I'm going to do it. You know, juicing is so therapeutic. It's so, um, it's so easy. I mean, I know sometimes I kind of, you know, overdramatize it in my head that I think that juicing is a hassle. Um, but it really is easy. And especially with this Omega juicer, it's so easy to clean up. And... I, I really got to start juicing more, you know, because the daily juicing habit or, you know, juicing every couple of days is so beneficial. And this weekend I had a, I'm going to turn that off while I cut the oranges. This weekend I had a beet juice and a green juice, but I kind of fell in love with beet juices again. I mean, they are so, I mean, beet and apple juice. That's like my favorite juice in the world. And here, let me show you cutting these oranges. So I just, I really want to start juicing more beets too. I think beet and celery would be really good. So this is how I cut an orange. I slice it in half. Then I take it on the side and I just go all the way around. And I've gotten pretty fast at this over the years because I have cut many an orange, many a lemon <laughs> in my day. So it's pretty quick to cut oranges. You've got to be careful about your fingers. You don't want to chop them off. That would be bad. But you see how quick this is? I mean, and I could have done this last night. I could have 
you know, prepped this last night and then just juiced it this morning. Uh, or I could have even juiced it last night because of the citrus in it. you got to have a citrus in pretty much any juice you make. I would pretty much always recommend lemon uh, because it's like a preservative, you know. And you can keep these in the in a in a mason jar with an airtight lid for up to three days. You know, I would probably do two days, but um, you can do up to three days. But you just gotta have a citrus in it as a preservative. So here we go on my last half. Kind of becomes a game. It's like how quick can you make a juice? And then after you make it, you just feel so satisfied because you know that you are gonna have this amazing beneficial juice. And oranges are really easy to juice. You just plop them in. You just, you know, I juiced oranges by hand the other day and I did, I know that I did not get all of the juice that was in those oranges because you just, it's almost impossible to extract all that juice. That's why juicing them in a juicer is so beneficial because you don't waste anything and you get all this amazing citrus juice which is like liquid sunlight I mean orange juice pure liquid sunlight it is just so energizing to the cells and it is 704 in the morning right now and uh, this is gonna energize me throughout the day it's gonna mineralize me and if I so choose to go to the sauna today which I'm not because I'm busy this afternoon but um, you know, the sweating that you do, celery juice is like the best, you know, electrolyte bomb ever. Sorry, I'm like throwing away these oranges. Totally multitasking here. I gotta get used to filming while, while I create my beautiful raw vegan dishes. Um, but yeah, we got people drinking this Gatorade and that just makes me wanna throw up. Gatorade has like a pH of two and uh, totally just acidic. It's got the dyes in it and it is just, it's been sitting on a shelf for a month. Why not juice up some celery and uh, you know, really amp up your health. Throw away the Gatorade. Whenever I see people drinking that stuff, it almost makes me nauseated. I'm serious. <laughs> because it just totally is just acidic and toxic to the body. So I love juicing and here we go. Got my juice here. So I got a mason jar and I'm going to take this juice and I'm going to pour it in. Hopefully I don't spill it everywhere. Ooh, I'm doing pretty good. Didn't spill it. Alright, and I'm going to wipe off the lid. And normally I like filling up these jars to the tippy 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 top because uh, then you get less oxidation. But here we go baby. This is some celery and orange juice, super simple, and if I wanted to amp this up even more, I could take some wheatgrass powder. This is just a little sample from Amazing Grass Organic Raw Wheatgrass Powder. If I really wanted to, I could pop some of that in here and just really amp up the minerals and the vitamins and everything that wheatgrass, ha that wheatgrass has to offer. But yeah, here we go. I'm so excited and See, this is how you're healthy, man. You got to take a little bit of time out, you got to prepare, and it's so worth it. All right? So here's my juice, and thank you guys so much for watching. Get your juicer on, and let's get healthy, you guys. <laughs> All right, see ya.